All right, here we go. Teams from Chardon, Riverside, and Avon Lake meet on the Nordson Academic Challenge. Welcome to the Nordson Academic Challenge. And now, here's your host from News 5, Rob Powers. All righty. Hi, everybody. I am Rob Powers. Welcome to the 53rd season of the Nordson Academic Challenge. Again, today, the challenge is quite simple. Three local high school teams compete for points. By answering questions, we have math, science, history, other topics as well. Let's take a look right now at our leaderboard. The top five scoring teams this season will share in a total of $20,000 in grant money from Nordson. The top three scoring teams will then be right back here for our championship finale. And that is where a grant of $6,000 is up for grabs. We start things off this morning where we start every Saturday with the lightning round. All three teams compete in this round. We award 10 points for a correct answer. We subtract 10 points for an incorrect answer or no answer. Let's start every team with 100 points. Everybody ready to go? All answers in this round begin with the letter K. K. This is the opening play of a football game. Avon Lake. Kicked off. That is correct. This is the capital city of Afghanistan. Avon Lake. Kabul. That is correct. This astronomer formulated the laws of planetary motion. Avon Lake. Kaepernick. Kepler is the answer. Kepler. He was the 35th U.S. president. Chardon. Kennedy. That is correct. This is the highest African mountain. Chardon. Kilimanjaro. That is correct. These joints connect the fingers to the hand. Riverside. Knuckles. Of course. This Knuckles. is the capital city of Rwanda. Kigali. Avon Lake. Kigali. That is correct. You can open a chess game by moving this piece. Avon Lake. Knight. That is correct. He wrote The Trial and The Metamorphosis. Avon Lake. Kafka. That is correct. And for our final lightning round question, here's Dr. Crystal Gadabeku from Cleveland Clinic. The Cleveland Clinic is at the forefront both in research and in treating patients. We have experts in all areas of medical practice, including nephrology, which is the study and treatment of what organs? Avon Lake? Kidney. Kidney is correct, and that's the end of our opening round. We'll be back with more Nordson Academic Challenge right after this. Norton is honored to sponsor a program that celebrates academic excellence. We're a global industrial technology company with a long and proud history of giving back to the communities where we live and work. We donate 5% of our U.S. pretext profits to charity every year. Over the past 30 years, the Norton Corporation Foundation has donated more than $100 million, and our employees have volunteered more than 100,000 hours. And now, we're pleased to support the legacy of Academic Challenge. Thank you all for watching, and the best of luck to all the participants. Today's judge from Cuyahoga Community College is recruitment specialist Melissa Koenig. Melissa, great to see you again. Thanks for being here on a beautiful Saturday morning. Welcome back to the Nordson Academic Challenge. We're going to jump right back into our game with hot picks. One at a time, I'll ask each team eight questions. A correct response in this round is worth 20 points. No penalty here for a wrong answer. Any team answering all eight questions correctly will receive 25 bonus points. Our first team comes to us today from Chardon. Nestled in the heart of Geauga County, Chardon High School has been educating students for 148 years, preparing them for the four E's, enrollment, employment, enlistment, and entrepreneurship. Chardon creates a culture of caring for over 1,100 students in grades 8 through 12. It's consistently been in the top 10% in the state, offering students an excellent pathway for student success. For your questions, Chardon, we go to L from Riverside. One, two, three, or four? Four. Four. Okay, Chardon, these questions just for you. All set? I need these. The Chihuahua Trail was once a major crossing point for those embarking on a journey across what river separating Mexico from Texas? Uh, the Rio Grande. That is correct. Weighing over 1,000 pounds, what stone discovered in Egypt in 1799 is worth its weight in gold to linguists studying hieroglyphic writing? Uh, Rosetta Stone. That is correct. In Hindu mythology, one terrifying creature is the Shisha, an enormous cobra with how many heads 
equaling 10 cubed? A thousand. One thousand is correct. Let's go to the monitor. Here is your science question. The normal atmospheric pressure in pounds per square inch is roughly which of these, A, B, or C? Answer? B. C, 14.7. An urban planner's dream is the way one writer desc describes Stockholm, the capital of what European country? Sweden. That is correct. Quasimodo is the hunchback hero in Victor Hugo's novel whose title names what great Paris cathedral? Notre Dame. That is correct. Back to the monitor. Here's your math question. Simplify this expression, taking positive roots. Give your answer as an integer. One. That is correct. Although Queen Victoria's reign extended into the 20th century, she did not witness what Asian conflict settled by Teddy Roosevelt in 1905. Answer? The Great Conflict. The Russo-Japanese War, but nice try there, Chardon. Good round. Good job. All righty. Our second team today comes from Riverside. Part of the Riverside Local School District has a student enrollment of over 1,000 students. They're offered a comprehensive program. It includes numerous AP courses, exceptional art, music, foreign language. They've got applied business and technology programs, too. Extracurricular activities include academic decathlon and mock trial. For your questions, Riverside, Dylan from Avon Lake, we have envelope one, two, or three. Your pick. Three, please. Number three. All right, Riverside, these questions just for you. Set? Here we go. Although located several hundred miles from Canada, Rhode Island selected as its state tree what same tree whose leaf appears on the Canadian flag? Maple. Maple is correct. St. Louis, Missouri was the starting point for many wagon trains, but St. Joseph, Missouri was the origin of what horseback postal service? Are you able to repeat the question one more time? St. Louis, Missouri was the starting point for many wagon trains, but St. Joseph, Missouri was the origin of what horseback postal service? Need an answer. Um, Moni, surprise. The Pony Express. Yes. Before the French Revolution, peasants had to pay a tax called the gabelle on what seasoning whose chemical formula is sodium chloride? Salt. Salt is correct. To the monitor, here's your science question. Which of these is a unit of force? Answer? Jewel. The Newton. The Newton. The, the, the jewel. 38 men named James Smith are listed on the wall of the Washington, D.C. Memorial dedicated to, to those killed in what Asian war that ended in 1975? The Vietnam War. That is correct. Shakespeare once said all the world's a stage, but the stage most closely associated with him was what theater named for a model of the earth? The Atlas Theater? The Globe Theater. The Globe Theater. Back to the monitor. Here's your math question. Perform the indicated operation, giving your answer as a positive integer. Answer? Six. Six is correct. Andrew Jackson was opposed on the question of nullification by his own vice president, who was what? South Carolinian. Answer? No answer. John C. Calhoun is the answer there. Way to go, Riverside. It's Rob. All right. Our third team this morning is from Avon Lake. Avon Lake, nationally ranked by numerous publications for its commitment to excellence and student achievement. Avon Lake offering 17 AP courses, 24 honors level courses, as well as 14 on-site dual credit courses through local colleges. That's busy. We come back to Jake from Chardon. Jake, one or two? Uh, one. One. All right, Avon Lake, just for you. Set? Here we go. Pliny the Elder, the ancient Roman naturalist, met his death while studying what erupting volcano that destroyed Pompeii in 79 AD? Vesuvius. That is correct. Botticelli painted a lovely picture of the birth of what classical goddess of love and beauty who sprang from the sea fully grown? Venus. That is correct. The ruins of Tintagil Castle in England have long attracted visitors as the reputed birthplace of what legendary king of Camelot? 
King Arthur. That is correct. Let's go to the monitor. Here is your science question. Which of these halogens has the lowest atomic number? Fluorine. That is correct. Hopes of a peaceful settlement sank when the sinking of the battleship Maine sparked what 1898 conflict? Spanish-American War. That is correct. Although Harper, Lee is best, uh, Harper Lee's best-known novel is set in Alabama, its title refers to killing what Arkansas state bird? Mockingbird. That is correct. Back to the monitor. Here is your math question. Assuming X is not zero, what is the value of this expression? One. One is correct, and that was big. This is for the bonus points. Even if you don't know beans about coffee, you should know that coffee was first grown in what African country whose modern capital is Addis Ababa? Ethiopia. That is correct, and that's for the bonus points. That's also the end of the round. We'll be back with more questions and more answers coming up right after this. Welcome back to the Nordson Academic Challenge. Before we start the next round, we're going to take a look at the scores so far. In third place this morning with 190 points, the team from Riverside. In second place right now with 240 points, the team from Chardon. And leading the way right now with 335 points, the team from Avon Lake. But hold on. We go head to head right now once again. It's the picture perfect round. Each correct answer here is worth 10 points. But for a wrong answer or no answer, we take away 10 points. Again, this is for all three teams. So hands on the buzzer, eyes on the big monitor. All set? Here we go. Here you see two colliding galaxies in the constellation Corvus, named for what black bird known for its cawing? Avon Lake. Crow. That is correct. These girls live near Asuncion, the capital of what landlocked Chardon? Uruguay. Paraguay. Paraguay is the answer, not Uruguay. Next we see some of the scenery you can enjoy if you visit Zion National Park, located in what western state? Avon Lake. Utah. Pardon me? Utah. Utah is correct. Solve for why. Answer is two. The Mayan-inspired design of this waterfall reflects the step pyramids built by Mayan Indians on what large Mexican peninsula? Avon Lake. Yucatan. That is correct. This description of the Union's Army's retreat after Bull Run was written by what eyewitness, the poet who wrote Leaves of Grass? Answer is Walt Whitman. This is the flag of what South American country? Avon Lake. Columbia. That is correct. In this Cleveland Magazine issue, we learned about people's paychecks. Along with paychecks comes income tax, which was enacted under which U.S. Constitutional Amendment, Chardon. 16th. 16th is correct. That was a quick round. Nicely done. That's the end of that round. We'll be back with more Nordson Academic Challenge right after this. Let's welcome today's team advisors from Avon Lake. Here's Ryan Smiley from Chardon. Alan Herner's here this morning. And from Riverside, say hello to Mike Tosando. Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks for being here. All righty, time now for our Mix It Up round. One at a time, I'll ask each team six questions. A correct response here is worth 20 points. No penalty for a wrong answer here. Any team answering all six questions correctly in this round will receive 25 bonus points. First up, the team from Chardon. All set? Here we go. You'll be ready to go to Yale if you can find in this sentence the name of what heavy metal, often used as a shield against x-rays? Lead. That is correct. A situation which is precarious can best be described by which of these words? Unstable. That is correct. According to legend, it was on this date that Rome was founded by what man who was the twin brother of Remus? Answer? The... Nothing. Romulus. Instead of clipping linen, you can earn 20 points here by rearranging the letters to name what antibiotic isolated in 1928 by Alexander Fleming. Penicillin. That is correct. Here you see three corporations that have had a major impact in America. Arrange them in chronological order according to the dates they were founded. Boeing, Standard Oil, Starbucks? Standard Oil, Boeing, Starbucks. This inscription was found on the temple of what sun god at Delphi? 
Apollo? That is correct. Nice round there, Chardon. All righty. Up next, the team from Riverside. Just for you. All set? Yes. Here we go. You'll have 20 points if your final answer is the name of what San Antonio mission where a number of Americans made a final fatal stand in 1836. The Alamo. That is correct. A person who is inarticulate has trouble doing which of these? Speaking. That is correct. On this date, space station astronauts entered the world's first commercial supply ship. Name for what type of legendary fire-breathing monster? The dragon. Dragon is correct. Whether you like Reno or Las Vegas, rearrange the letters here to name what German physicist who discovered X-rays and was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1901. Answer? No answer. Rentgen. Rentgen uh, is the answer. Uh, American troops fought in all three of these wars, but not in this order. Arra arrange them in chronological order. Uh, World War II, Korean War, per uh, Persian Gulf War. That is correct. This was the observation of what man who supported the American Revolution and freedom with such writings as common sense? Thomas Paine. Thomas Paine is the answer. Way to go, Riverside. Okie doke. Time now for Avon Lake. Here we go. All set? You will be elated if you can find in this sentence the name of what hard substance covering your teeth? Enamel. That is correct. Someone who is overjoyed and full of happiness can best be described by which of these adjectives? Euphoric. That is correct. This was the date of the final meeting of what international peacekeeping organization that preceded the United Nations? League of Nations. That is correct. You will be on the plus side here if you can rearrange the letters to name what element with chemical symbol SR. Answer? Strontium. Strontium is correct. Here are some famous battles from world history. Place them in correct chronological order. Thermopylae, Wounded Knee, Iwo Jima. That is correct, and that was big because this is for the bonus points. This promise was included in what document accepted by King John in 1215? Magna Carta. The Magna Carta is correct for the bonus points. All righty, we are flying through this. That's the end of that round, but we'll be back with our final and deciding grab bag round. It's coming up right after this. Hi, welcome back to the Nordson Academic Challenge. Before we continue, we're going to recap the scores real quick for you right now. In third place uh, right now with 290 points, Riverside. Second place right now, 320 points, Chardon. Leading the way with 520 points is Avon Lake. Oh, but hold on. Time for the grab bag round. This is a free-for-all. Each correct answer here is worth 20 points. A team will lose 20 points for a wrong answer or no answer. We have some visual questions. They are worth 30 points. Be careful with those because an incorrect answer there will cost you 30 points. Again, this is for all three teams. Hands on the buzzers, eyes on the monitor when we need it. All set? Here we go. A book on insects would classify Teleogryllus oceanicus, what common chirping insect, which also names a British team sport? Chardon. Cricket. That is correct. George Washington was just 16 years old when he took his first job doing what sort of work to measure property lines and land surfaces? Chardon. Surveying. That is correct. In 1961, the Vostok 1 spacecraft blasted off carrying what Russian cosmonaut, the first man to orbit Avon Yur Lake? I Alexei Leonov. Yuri Gagarin. Yuri Gagarin is the answer. Hunting deer in this 16th century painting is Maximilian I, a member of what royal dynasty that later included Maria Theresa? Answer, Habsburg, Habsburg. One of the events leading to the War of 1812 took place in 1807 when the British warship HMS Leopard fired on what U.S. vessel named for a middle Atlantic bay? Riverside. Chesapeake. That is correct. In the 1990s, spacecraft surveys of the moon found areas containing what metallic element with atomic number 22 and symbol TI? Avon Lake. Titanium. That is correct. 
During the last months of World War II, many Japanese pilots flew suicide missions that were given what name? Chardon. Kamikaze. That is correct. This phrase was used to describe Thomas Jefferson by members of what political party to which John Adams had belonged? Avon Lake. Federalist. That is correct. We don't call the 17th century French Protestants have nots, but rather what other kind of nots? Avon Lake. Huguenot. That is correct. What geometric figure is defined as the set of all points in a plane that are a given distance from a given point? Chardon. Is that our mass? Circle. It's a circle. In darkest England and the way out. Sounds like a travel brochure, but was actually a religious text by William Booth, the founder of what charitable army? Chardon. Salvation. That is correct. Picture here. Sorry, that's the buzzer. We go to the scoreboard right from that point. In third place this morning with 310 points is the team from Riverside. In second place today with 380 points is the team from Chardon. And winning today's academic challenge with a very robust 570 points is the team from Avon Lake. Wow, congratulations. Good game again this week. Be sure to join us next week. We'll feature teams from Aurora, Marion L. Steele, and Parma. I am Rob Powers. We'll see you back here soon for another Nordson Academic Challenge. This has been the Nordson Academic Challenge.